This is 2007 form B number 2 of the uh, calculus AB exam for your response. Um, so first thing, you want to store the function that uh, they give you. So V of T is equal to sine of T squared. Um, and we also know that at T equals 0, the position is 5. Um, but we're given velocity. So first question, acceleration. You're allowed to find the numerical value of a derivative at a point. So T, um, the point is 3, first derivative. And my function is V of T. I get uh, that answer, so just jot it down. Um, the next thing is total distance. So total distance, I know, is the integral from A to B, which in this case is 0 to 3 of absolute value, so template absolute value v of t dt, um, which is that. So, so far I'm kind of flying through these. Position at t equals 3. You might be tempted to try to integrate this, but um, we can't find an antiderivative for this. U substitution won't work. Um, if you try to integrate it, your calculator will just return the integral without doing anything. So what we do here is a, a definite integral. So we know that at zero, it's at, it's located at, um, when t equals zero, the position is five, plus the integral of its velocity from zero to uh, three, right? So at zero, it was located at five. Integral from zero to three of v of t dt is the total change between zero and three. So five plus the total change from zero to three gives us um, five point 774, so that's the position. Uh, next thing we want to do is answer part D. So I'm going to duplicate the graph that was provided. Um, so I'll graph V of X. If you don't change it to X here, it won't graph it. Change the menu, uh, the window rather. Zero, um, square root of five pi. And let's go negative 1.5 to 1.5. Um, this is the velocity. So it's moving to the the particle is moving to the right when velocity is positive. So let me um, find every place where it changes from positive to negative because that's where it's um, the farthest right for the time being. And then we want the uh, the absolute maximum of all of them. So find some zeros. So. Now I'm in a candidates test situation. First, let me store these. So click, control, store, x1. Click, control, store, x2. Uh, I'm going to add a calculator page, but in the same problem, because that's where I stored things. OK, so um, in general, the position is 5 plus 5, which is where it is at t equals 0, plus the integral from 0 to uh, some value, let's say, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter, uh, c of v of t dt. And I'm doing the candidates test, so such that c equals 0. I already know I'm going to get 5 here, but um, because the integral from 0 to 0 is 0. Uh, let me now test it with, so that's the first one, uh, with x1 with x2, and finally with the square root of 5 pi, and remember pi has its own key. Um, so now, the these are all, well, it's candidates test, right? So the endpoints were 0 and square root of 5 pi. And then uh, this is, x1 is where the derivative changes from positive to negative, which means the particle change from moving to the right to the left. Um, so the absolute largest value I get out of this is the correct answer, and that is at x1. Um, so x1 to three decimals is 1.772, uh, which turns out to be the square root of pi if you want the exact value. But uh, that's how I would do this problem, and I hope this is helpful. Good luck.